We have seen a lot of sunshine all across the South Plains all day, allowing those temperatures to really warm up. Take a look at today in review. This is taken right outside Covenant Sky Cam, where we are dealing with a lot of sunshine this morning. Clear skies, in fact. But then we do have a few of those upper level clouds trying to mingle their way across the region. This is because we do have a lot of moisture right along the Texas-New Mexico state line. So more cloud cover along the state line, meaning cooler temperatures for those guys. We've got temperatures coming in 84 degrees in Clovis, 85 in Dora. But then you hop over to Hobbs, well, we have more clearing taking place. We're at 93 degrees, 94 in Seminole. The hub coming in at 93 as well. And then off into the rolling plains. Those numbers are downright hot. We're talking close to the triple digits. Well, we're going to be dealing with a nice warming trend over the next several days again, but we will have a chance of rainfall each and every day. We've got a lot of Gulf moisture coming in. We've talked about this for quite some time. This time of year, we normally get a lot of that moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, such as what we've been seeing, it stays over in New Mexico. Thankfully, we are going to see some of that trying to push its way into our region over the next several days. Here's what we're talking about. Not only do we have a stationary boundary that's going to help us out, but we're going to see some of that trying to push its way along the state line. Tomorrow, we do anticipate to see some isolated showers right around 3, 4, 5, and even 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Then we head further on into Saturday, where our isolated showers are looking to be a little more widespread. Saturday morning. Morning and again in the afternoon. And then we head into Sunday. Another shot of rain into the South Plains, and we look to see more of it trying to spread right along the state line further off into the rolling plains. And then we continue with the trend on into Monday. So, several days of seeing some isolated showers. But remember the key word isolated. Not everyone's going to see widespread rainfall with this particular system. However, we will get some of the rain. Tomorrow, we're looking to see a few of those showers trying to peak up as we go right along the state line and further up and along I-27, including up and dip the Panhandle in Amarillo down towards the Hub City. Some of these isolated showers will contain quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning. Small pieces of hell could be possible, but we're not anticipating any severe weather within this particular line of showers and thunderstorms. They'll continue to stick around with us into the latter portion of Friday evening. Then we clear out overnight into Saturday before another round tries to peek in along the state line Saturday afternoon. And then we'll see it trying to push its way further off towards the east. So rain is in the game plan. And normally when we have rain, we deal with a lot of clouds, allowing those temperatures to stay nice and mild. Well, this time around, the showers are so incredibly icy. Isolated, and we're not going to be dealing too much with widespread cloud cover, so numbers stay up. We're talking about 98 degrees in the central areas, 97 by Saturday, and we will slowly dip down around 94, but still, it's hot outside. So remember, if you need to do anything outdoors, please do it as early as possible. Tomorrow morning, we're looking for those numbers to be down at 69 degrees for your morning at early morning activity. So get out as early as possible because 98 degrees, that's a little toasty to be out there doing a, a bike ride or even doing some running. So make sure you are staying safe. Now, over into the ruling plains, some locations will be closer to 103 to even 105 degrees, not only Friday, but also into Saturday. Sunday's looking to be our best chance of seeing those showers and thunderstorms pushing across the region. And then we go into Monday at 95. But we stay pretty consistent on into early next week with those numbers in the mid to upper 90s, especially off into the rolling plains. Evan, it's going to be hot. <laughs> I'm looking at the seven day <laughs> forecast. But yeah. it's perfect. School starts back, you know, very soon. Yeah. It's perfect pool weather. But remember, if you were to be outside and you hear that thunder roar, what do you do? You got to go indoors. Yes, or in stores. Or in stores. <laughs> Whichever one's going to work better for you. Thanks very much, mm -hmm. Nikki D. Still to come out right here on the news at six, Panhandle Farmers coming to.